In 1 John chapter 1, verses 8 to 10, we read, If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins, and purify us from all unrighteousness. If we claim we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar, and his word is not in us. If we're using the mnemonic acts to help us in our times of prayer, A for adoration is followed by C for confession. While adoration is about putting God in his rightful place, confession is about putting us in ours. As St John says, we've all sinned. As St Paul tells us in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. We don't want to approach God with the attitude that we deserve our prayers to be answered, because we don't. But instead we need to approach him trusting in his love and forgiveness. How do you feel if someone hurts you? And then the next time that you meet them, they act as if nothing had happened. Is that the way we should treat God? So, how do we confess? Well, I don't think we need to spend long periods of time going back through everything we've done, checking whether we've done anything wrong. We'll almost certainly miss something. If there's anything particular we're aware of, we certainly need to confess it. But maybe we need a careless remark to someone that hurt them without us being aware. We also need to confess that. So we need to acknowledge the sins that we're aware of, but also acknowledge there may be things that we don't know about or have forgotten. One of the confessions that we use in services also asks God to forgive us for the good we have not done. And we need to remember this as well. Did we fail to help someone or not step in to stop an argument? Should we be doing more to help others? We also have to recognise our part in corporate sin, whether of our family, our nation or the world as a whole. A global pandemic has been recognised for years as a possibility due to the amount of worldwide travel that people make. Have we contributed to that? Or not tried in some way to do something about it? And that's just one example. How about global warming? Pollution? Our contribution may be small, but we need to acknowledge it. Now, I don't think it's a good idea to spend time trying to work out what our share of the blame is. In the Lord's Prayer, we ask, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. So we need to accept that we have at least some responsibility, but also to accept that we need to forgive others for what they're responsible for. The proportion of blame really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, Confession is not about us feeling guilty for our sins or feeling miserable because of our sins. Because if we confess our sins, he will forgive us. The result of confession should be a feeling of peace, that our relationship with God has been restored and that the barriers between him and us are gone. That's the point of confession, to ensure that we can go on in our walk with God without anything getting in the way and in continuing in our prayers with confidence that we're in the right place with him.